Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today, topic is all about statistics, and and then further topic is cumulative frequency curve. We have given this table marks and number of students. Okay, that is clearly mentioned, and we have to make a common frequency table first of all. What is method we have to make the first frequency? I will copy as it is. This five copy. And this 5, I will add in this, 6 plus 5 become 11. This value I will add in the other one, I will get 18. And this 18, I will add in 3, I will get 21. And this 21 add in 3, I will get 24. I think very, very clear. Let's talk about the rest one, how we can plot. Plotting technique is what? This 10 along marks and marks along x-axis you can see and this uh, frequencies we have cf we have a you can see we can allow plot the along y-axis so let's see this along x-axis and this along y-axis so 10 and 5 so 10 and 5 10 is here and 5 is here you can see 5 in the middle of here so i got a one point here now second number 20 and 11 so 20 is here 11 is here so if I check here, so I get somewhere here. Okay, exactly in the middle, okay. Third number is 30 and 18. So 30 is here and 18, I go up and 18 is here. It's very, very clear. Next number 40 and 21. So 40 is here and 21 is here. So let's see where it meet. 21 is here, so we can say it's clear. Last number is 24 along x-axis and 50 along, sorry, 24 along y-axis and 50 along x-axis. So 50 and 24, so 50 and 24. So they, I, I can make a point here. Sure, so let's see now we can make it, how we can join, okay? So so smooth curve, don't, don't join directly wrong. It's not the right way. Now what is the right way? We will curve. So we'll join this way and this way and keep concentrate on this and this way. So your curve always smooth and you will not use scale to make it. Okay. And always we have this kind of graph, this kind of smooth graph, like S shape. Okay. Always this kind of shape. Approximately, not exactly. Okay. Approximately. Now this is called a frequency curve. This is called common frequency curve. Okay. Now I can find the, the next things. Next thing is what first upper quartile. So let's find upper quartile. Oh, sorry, median. Sir. First I'm going to find median. So median I'm going to find here and median is median formula. V median is actually half of total frequency. And let me write the formulas here for you. And this formula is median is formula half into total frequency. Upper quartile is a three fourth of total frequency. Uh, lower quartile is one fourth of total frequency. And inter quartile is a, a subtracting the answers of these two will get the answers. Okay, so let's start. First of all, between half in total frequency. And total frequency is 24. You can see even here. And my answer is coming 12. So 12 is answer? No, 12 is not answer. 12 is a pointer. So pointer means let's find 12. 12 is here. So I'll start from 12 here and go on the graph and I'll come down and approximately number is coming 22. Okay. So I'm writing here median answer is coming here 22. So this is my answer 22. So my answer is 22. Okay. Marks. So let's go for the similarly uh, upper quartile, 3 fourth. So upper quartile, shortcut u dot q is 3 fourth of 24, this 24. So I got six threes are 18, but 18 is not my answer. Uh, 18 is a pointer, pointer and let's find 18 from 18 grow on the graph where meet come down and my answer is approximately here. This is let's say 33. So upper quartile is equal to 33. So 33 is my uh, upper quartile answer. So let's go for the lower quartile. And lower quartile answer is here. Lower quartile for, um, formula is one fourth. One fourth of the highest frequency, 24. And I got a six. 
but six is not my answer. So it's a pointer. So from six, I will go on the curve. I will go on the curve this way and where I meet, come down. So let's say answer is here and this answer is, let's say 12. So lower quartile is equal to 12. So 12 is my answer. So now I'm going for interquartile and interquartile formula is interquartile. Upper quartile minus lower quartile. But some student by mistake, they, do, they use these numbers. This number and this number, wrong. You will not use these numbers, they are pointers. You will use this final answer and final answer. So from 33 to 12, subtract 12, and you got a 21 answer. 33 and 12 gone, uh, 30, 33. And 12, so one and 21 answer. So we got a 21 answer is very, very clear. Okay, let's talk about the last part of the page. Then what is that? It's 80 percentile, sometimes 60 percentile, sometimes 40 percentile. Percentile is same like a percentage. Okay, how I will find percentile? I'm finding here, so 80 percentile. So percentile, so how to find percentile? 80 divided by 100 times to total frequency, 24. Give me, give me answer, please check. This zero cancel. I think, uh, check what answer is coming. Uh, 80 by 124. 19.2. How much? 19.2. 19.2 you said? Okay, 19.2. So 19.2, I will take his 19.2, 18 and 19 somewhere here. So 19.2 slightly up, I will go from here and meet this curve and come here. Let's say this answer is, uh, is called 60 per, 80 percentile is equal to, let's say is a 37. So 37 is my answer. So 80 percentile is equal to 37 is my answer. This is a whole thing and uh, sometime he can ask you any frequency is missing. Look here, a very important thing here. Suppose this frequency is missing. Hmm? This, or let's say this six frequency is missing. If this frequency is missing and we have to fill this frequency, very easy technique we have, what this number is 10 and what this number is 20. So from 10, you'll go and meet the curve and note the number. And from 20, go on the curve and meet and subtract those numbers. Okay, and second option, against 20, I have 11. Against 10, I have five. Subtract these numbers, I get six. I repeat again. So like this, I have it. Let's say I have missing this number, right? So against 30, I have 18. Against 20, I have 11. Subtract them, I got seven, I think clear. Okay, I have two ways to get the, the gap. So mostly he gave us the graph, and he gave us a graph, and we need to find frequency. What is technique? For example, this number is missing. So what I'll do, from 50, I'll go on the curve and note the number. And from 40, I'll go on the curve note and subtract those numbers. Will give us answer. I think clear, right? This is enough for today.